This, my friend, is an amateur radio antenna tripod. Incredibly small form factor. We have this compared to my Pentel ballpoint pen, compared to my toothbrush, compared to the stock antenna on a Bofang UV5R. And G Gable Radio is introducing this this month. I have a 15% discount code for you below in the description if you pick this up prior to December 31st of 2023. So what is G Gable Radio up to now? They just sent this to me. It landed on my front porch several weeks ago. I've been playing with one of the items in particular to see if it made sense for us here in the States. I think it's going to come as a kit. This is a prototype right now. This is integral to every part of it. It's UHF connector on both ends. So of course they're expecting that we would be using this with our 7350T telescoping coil antenna and the small whip that comes with it. So this is integral to everything this kit does. This is a set of radial terminals that go into the side of the UHF connector. And if you're familiar with the G Gable system, which if you watch my videos, you are, that goes with the entire kit. We won't talk much about that at this point in time. Here is a telescoping rod, call it a telescoping mast, very short, think very confined spaces, think Asia, think Taiwan, dense population, someplace that you can get yourself a rail to attach this to, attach it to this quote mast, and on the other end, screw it into the UHF connector, and now you have the ability to operate. Again, very niche products. This is some type of ground spike that also goes with this mast and that you could use if you were say on a soda and you were trying to get into some gravel. That's going to be about four inches long, I'm going to say. So you're not going to be holding large antennas up in the air. Think very small form factor. Think 7350T. That's what this was developed for. Here's the main thing that we want to talk about today. And if I didn't say it already, hey everyone, I'm Bob, KD4, BMG, HOA Ham. This right here. Look at the size of this thing. This is a tripod. Small form factor, therefore a very small antenna, which the 7350T is. So think QRP operation, think Poda Soda. You're not going to be putting a 17-foot MFJ1979 on this, but if you own a 7350T, you can do it. So I put this already in the backyard on my workbench for a day and it didn't blow over because that's what you have to be thinking about here. Now this can also go into the ground that has this four, four and a half inch ground spike that goes into the bottom. And then this goes back on the top and then you screw in this top UHF connector and into the ground you go with this spike. Again, it's only a short spike, four inches, four and a half inches. So you have to operate with something that's small and lightweight. But I operated with this on the backyard and well, let's just get out of the workbench here and let me show you what I did. Throughout this clip, just keep an eye on the bushes and trees behind me, as well as listen for wind noise. Normally I try to cut out wind noise, but I want you to understand that wind is blowing here in the Tampa Bay area today. I've set up the tripod the way, well, that you set up every tripod. You screw in three tiny legs that are included in the tiny barrel that has a cap on it, a lid on it, and everything is multi-purpose. Put this top piece on with the UHF connectors, and then we're going to go ahead and put our 7350T on top of here as well. We'll come back to that ground spike in a second application here uh, in a couple of days after I get the final kit. So I did mention QRP earlier, the 7350T, it really isn't a QRP antenna. This thing will do 100 watts. We know that, we've shown that on the channel before. It's rated for 100 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and extend this telescoping antenna the entire way, walk in the house for a couple of hours, and when I come back out, it's still standing. It worked. So first test has passed. 
The final production kit is live on the Amazon store of G Gable Radio, and it just arrived at my home. It comes in this sturdy carry case. Everything is individually wrapped, so let me pull that out off camera and give you a look at the final production pieces. I do want to remind you that even though this is a UHF connector and is made to go with the 7350T, which is a UHF connector, it will also work with the G Gable 7350TC, which is a 3H by 24. We would just simply use this adapter, which goes from UHF to 3H by 24. Let me get this unwrapped and show you the finished product. If you pick up this kit from Amazon, everything is nicely packaged in here to protect it. It is all beautifully anodized. And I would say that's probably the only change that I can see from the kit they originally sent to me. This was uh, unfinished without anodize and this did not have anodize on it. So they've basically put protective coating on these items that they're providing to us. And G Gable takes a great deal of pride in how their items appear and how durable they are. Now I'm gonna do a quick continuity check and then I'm going to show you how that tripod works in the ground with that ground stake I actually take it outside and let me just say this real quick about that ground stake they want you to use both the ground stake and the three tripod legs when you put this in the ground so that's their recommendation I would say do what works for you the reason I want to do a quick continuity check is because my brain says anodize um, eliminates the ability to have conductivity, but somehow the type of anodize that G Gable Radio uses, you can see we have continuity. So I don't know what it is that they do that is different with the anodize that they're using, but I've got conductivity, so that's what I want. I want my ground to be able to travel to ground when I'm using ground radials. Obviously, I have no issue with the radiator. I know I have my continuity there. So let's get outside and set this up with the ground stake in the ground. It's another windy day here in the Tampa Bay area in the middle of December. Yeah, it's December 15th and I'm wearing short sleeves. You get to do that here in the Tampa Bay area. As recommended, I stuck that ground stake in the ground and I kept all three tripod legs on. That was a bit of a challenge in my six inch thick St. Augustine grass, but it helps with stability. The wind was blowing lightly all afternoon. I went back out several hours later and my antenna was still standing. G Gable Radio has developed, designed, manufactured, and introduced something for a very specific application. It's a niche application in ham radio operation. Small cube, lightweight, small form factor. As much as I love my 17 foot telescoping antennas, that's not what we're going to be using this system with. This is for tabletop operation out in a park in an emergency situation, pulling out of a go bag that fits in the palms of my hand and includes my radio, maybe my FX4CR, maybe my Shark Geek Storm 2 battery to power it along with keeping my iPhone powered and a small antenna and now a tiny tripod. Thanks G Gable Radio for letting me be part of the introduction of this to the ham radio community in the United States of America and thanks for continuing to develop awesome products for us. Talk to you soon friend 73.